derby today uh, with RMT members uh, from literally all over Britain uh, have been arriving uh, all morning. We've got members of the Communication Workers Union, Unite, the TSSA, ASLEF. Uh, there are trade councils represented here. Uh, and what everyone's here for is to protest against the disgraceful decision uh, made a couple of weeks ago by this government uh, to award a train building contract for new Thameslink train service uh, to the German company Siemens. Three or four brothers and sisters, the question is, let's hold these politicians accountable. Who is wagging the dog? The towel or us? And we've got to start to say to these people, where do you stand? Do you stand to support workers work in this country who have got high class skills to produce trains or are you going to throw them on the dole queue? If you throw these high skilled people on the dole queues, you're going to lose money from the inland revenue, you're going to lose money by paying social security and we believe that what we should be doing is building the manufacturing base up where we can supply all of the railways in this country with high quality trains. Uh, and we're standing right next to what is the last remaining piece of the British Rail Engineering Limited, which was privatised 15 years ago. It's now owned by Bombardier, the French Canadian company. Uh, and people have come here today because they're disgusted that the government's decision could mean the end of train building and manufacturing in this country. Uh, and we're demanding, first of all, that the government should reverse its decision, do another U-turn, they've already done several of them, and they should do another U-turn and make sure that trains that are being built for contracts to be used in Britain are built in factories in Britain to provide jobs for people here in Derby and to provide a future for rail engineering and train manufacturing in this country and here in Derby especially in the heart of the manufacturing, rail manufacturing industry. You're going to put something in the region, six to seven thousand people with a supply chain on the dole who are not going to pay income tax anymore, who are going to be proclaiming social security, but more worry than that, you're going to turn around to say to kids up here that you've got no hope in Derby whatsoever. When you was a kid in Derby 30 years ago, you worked for Rolls-Royce, you worked for the railways, or you worked for the council. And what they're going to create is complete social deprivation in this city. And we've got to turn around and say we want a different kind of society. There should be enough work for the Germans, the French, the Spanish, and for British people as well to build trains. There's enough trains, it's an expanding industry, there should be enough but we need to share it around. We're also, as a union, calling for the renationalisation of train building in Britain because we don't believe that it's got a secure future in the private sector. It will constantly uh, be attacked as long as it's cut adrift in the global marketplace. It will constantly be attacked by neoliberal governments who want to award contracts to the cheapest bidder. And we believe that train building is part of our heritage, part of our past and part of our future. Uh, and we want to see apprenticeships for young people in Derby. We want to see research and development jobs. We want to see high skilled, high quality futures for train building uh, in Britain. And you know, today I think is a sign really that tens of thousands of people uh, want to see that as well. And they're prepared to turn out uh, on a Saturday morning here in Derby in order to demonstrate that fact. So let's get into every single MP's constituency without Britain. Let's unite and ignite the trades councils throughout Britain. Let's ask every sponsor MP where you stand. And by doing this, you've got an opportunity to reaffirm your faith to what we stand for and our commitment to not only the skills in Derby, but to turn around and say, you're not going to shut our works down and we're going to build high quality trains in Derby for another hundred years. Let's get up and